Hello, and welcome to the Internet Monitor Dashboard tutorial. This video will show you how to use all of the dashboard's features to create, edit, and share collections of data visualizations about the Internet. To get started, click the green Get Started button in the middle of the screen. From here, you have two options. The first is to create an account. This will let you save your dashboards and will give you control over who's allowed to edit the boards you create. The second option is to create a dashboard anonymously without an account. Dashboards that are created anonymously can be edited by anyone. These dashboards don't show up in any listings, so if you want to return to one later, you should save the link. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Internet Monitor account. Now that I've signed in, I can click Get Started again to create a new dashboard. Empty dashboards offer a couple of tips on how to start customizing your dashboard. The first thing to do is to add some widgets, which you can do by clicking on the blue plus sign in the bottom right. This opens the Add Widgets menu, which contains all of the widgets in the Internet Monitor dashboard. You can sort the widgets by a few different facets. By default, they're sorted by name, but you can also sort by category, which will group widgets into data about internet access and infrastructure, digital activity, and online content controls. You can also sort by data provider, which groups the widgets according to the organizations providing the data, such as Akamai or Chilling Effects or Global Voices. You can also sort by type, which groups the widgets into their visual types, so area charts, maps, bar charts, that sort of thing, or by the widgets that were added the most recently. For this dashboard, I'm going to select a handful of widgets. I'm going to choose broadband cost, feed items, network attacks, Tor clients, and Wikipedia edits. And then I'll click the green Add Widgets button to add them to the screen. Now that the widgets are on the page, I'm going to rearrange them so things line up a little bit more nicely. You can drag widgets around on the page just by clicking on the title bar and moving them to where you'd like them to be. As you can see, each widget has a few icons in the top left corner. The X icon removes the widget from the page. The I, or info, icon offers more information about the data in the widget. Let's say I wanted to learn more about the network attacks widget from Akamai. I could click on the info icon, which would tell me more about the data in the map and where it comes from. The info window also has a link to the data provider, as well as a direct link to the original data page when that's available. At the bottom of the info window is a link to the widget's embed code. You can embed Internet Monitor dashboard widgets into other sites by copying and pasting this code into another web page. Now let's look at the Settings menu, which you can get to by clicking the gray Settings icon at the top of the widget. The Wikipedia Edits widget monitors recent edits to Wikipedia. By default, it displays edits to the English language version, but I can use the Settings menu to change this to Spanish. On the right side of the screen, the Feed widget lets you pull in a web feed from another source, so you can track blog posts, news articles, or even podcasts or videos. Let's say I wanted to follow citizen journalism in Spanish from Global Voices. I can use the settings menu to give the widget a title, Spanish Citizen Media, and to enter the link for an RSS feed. When I click Save, this widget will load recent articles in Spanish from the Spanish version of the Global Voices site. You can also change the settings for multiple widgets at once by clicking on this flag icon in the bottom right. Let's say I want to change the broadband cost in Tor widgets to Spain. I can click the flag icon, select the widgets I'd like to change, select the country, and click the flag icon again to make the changes. The copy icon, just below the flag icon, lets me duplicate widgets in the dashboard. Let's say I wanted another copy of the Tor widget. I could click the copy icon, select the Tor widget, and click the copy icon again. Now I can compare Relay first and Bridge first Tor clients for Spain. By default, dashboards you create while signed in are only editable by you. If I make this dashboard editable by others, then anyone who can has the link can add and remove widgets, move things around, and change widget settings. I can adjust a dashboard settings using the settings icon in the bottom right. This dashboard is not currently editable by others. So if I open it up in another browser where I'm not logged in, let me switch over to Safari, you'll see that all of the settings icons on each widget have disappeared. 
if I like this dashboard as a viewer, I can actually clone it, which creates a copy that I can edit. So you'll see now all the settings icons have reappeared. That wraps up our tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let us know at info at thenetmonitor.org. We're always excited to see what people have created, so you can share your dashboards with us through email or on Twitter with the hashtag InternetMonitor. Thanks, and happy exploring!